This is the double declining balance method for depreciating fixed assets or property, plant, and equipment. Okay, so we're going to deal with the following information. Cost of the equipment is $200,000. Salvage value is $20,000. Useful life is five years and 20,000 hours. With this method, we'll be using the years, not the activity. And notice there are three steps when we use the double declining balance method. First, we calculate the straight line depreciation percentage, which is one divided by the useful life of five years. One divided by five, my straight line percentage, SL, straight line percentage, is 20%. Step two, <clears throat> I double the straight line percentage, and this gives me the double declining balance percentage. 20% times two equals 40%. That is my double declining balance percentage, TDB. And step three, we multiply the beginning of the year book value times the double declining balance percentage, since the beginning book value in year one is always cost, because we have not yet recorded any depreciation. In this example, 200,000 divided by the 40% double declining balance percentage will give us year one depreciation, which in this case would be $80,000. So, my beginning book value times 0.4 is 80,000. My adjusting journal entry to record depreciation is debit depreciation expense credit accumulated depreciation. So accumulated would be 80,000. And then remember, ending book value is cost minus accumulated depreciation, which at the end of the year, December 31st, would be $120,000. Okay, now I'm also gonna put up a T account so we can see how accumulated depreciation accumulates and how it affects book value. Now, the clock strikes midnight, December 31st of year one becomes January 1st of year two. And I'm just gonna do this. This, this means I'm gonna keep multiplying these numbers by 0 0.4. 120,000 times 0 0.4 is 48,000. 48,000 plus year one's depreciation of 80. Accumulated is 128,000, and ending book value <clears throat> is 72,000. Year two depreciation expense, debit accumulated, excuse me, debit depreciation expense 48,000, credit accumulated 48,000. On the balance sheet, we show the equipment at its original cost of 200, and accumulated now at 128, so we show the net book value of 72,000. That becomes my year three beginning book value. I'm going to multiply that times 0.4, and that's going to give me 28,800 of depreciation expense in year three. So I'm going to add 28,8, and I'm going to get 156,800. Okay, 156,800. And then my ending book value will be cost of 200 minus 156, 43,200. Okay, so again, this is the depreciation expense in year three. Here's the ending book value year three. That becomes beginning book value in year four. I multiply 43,200 times 0.4, and I get 17,280. Okay, so I add that 17,280, and that gives me 174,080. 174,080, and then my ending book value, 25,920. Cost of 200 minus accumulated 174,080 gives me 25,920. Now we gotta watch out in the last year or two that we don't go over the salvage value, or past the salvage value. So 25,920, if I were to multiply that times 0.4, that would
would give me 10,368. 10,368 would see, let's see. Notice my accumulated depreciation would be 184, 448. And that would be my ending book value is 15,552. And then ending book value would be lower than salvage value. We're not allowed to do that. So I cannot record that much depreciation. We know that ending book value has to stop when it hits salvage value of 20,000. That means accumulated depreciation cannot exceed 180,000 because 200 cost minus 180 is 20. So the way that I calculate or the way that I figure out depreciation expense in year five is I look at the difference between the ending accumulated depreciation in year four and what the ending accumulated depreciation has to be in year five. And the difference between these two is $5,920. So 59.20, sorry, 59.20, let me erase that, would get us to 180,000. Okay, so with this method, you have to be mindful that you cannot depreciate below the salvage value, which means even though when we multiply the beginning book file book value by the declining balance percentage, we may not be able to take that full amount of depreciation, we have to figure out what this number is by comparing last year's ending accumulated and what ending accumulated for this year is. And considering that it cannot exceed 180, the difference between these two numbers would give us the 5920. We could also say the difference between ending book value in year four and ending book value in year five. Notice the difference is 5920. Okay, and so either way we can calculate the final year depreciation. Okay, and that is the double declining balance method of depreciation.